Hi, I'm Iran, industrial designer and plant lover. I've spent the last three years researching and testing materials, plants, and prototypes to create a living, breathing product. Meet the Terra Planter. My mission was not only to design a beautiful piece, but a solution that overcomes the two main reasons plants die. Underwatering and overwatering. Terra Planter overcomes these deadly scenarios. In addition, it doesn't need soil. Only water. It's that easy. Water goes inside the vessel and the plant grows on the outside. The structure of the material is solid yet porous. Water is slowly diffused through it and is held by the cells, giving the plant time to drink. These cells are also the perfect home for seeds. Simply spread seeds into the cells and watch them come to life. We designed this micro texture to provide extra grip for the plant roots to hold on tight. And since the roots are on the surface, they have constant access to both water and air. You can even reuse the Terra Planter as many times as you like. It's the next generation of the planter and it opens up a whole new world of growing options. You can rub spores onto the surface. Wrap a climbing plant around it. Use rubber bands to mount plant roots onto the surface. Or cover it with seeds of your choice and just let life happen. The plant and the terra planter become one. We need your help to bring the terra planter to life. Join us. It's time to Pico. A tiny farm that fits in your palm. Pico is your self-watering, self-lit companion that takes care of plants. Yep, it actually grows plants and herbs for you. It gives your plants the power of the sun and grows along with them. It waters itself, so you don't have to. That means no more guesswork. Pico lets you be a little lazy, but a whole lot more responsible. Done. Done. And done. So, the next time you want to show your support, why don't you just stick it, hang it, or place it on pretty much every surface around you. Dear Nature, Welcome home. Levitating plants. And what's so cool about magnetism is a force that we, we can't see, but we can feel. We're levitating the plant from the ground, in midair, and rotating so that it gets sunlight from all different directions. The idea of a plant not needing soil to grow really fascinates me, and that's when I got interested in air plants. Air plants are plants that grow from the air. They don't require any soil. They, they literally take particles from the air and get nutrients from them. I wanted to create an experience for people in their homes where they can enjoy plants, but in a new way. Houseplants don't always have to be the same. And what happens if I levitate this plant in, in the air? Will it grow differently? Will it grow more? Who knows? Maybe we're going to discover a new way of growing plants.